This broadcast is brought to you courtesy of Amateur Radio Station VK7AX in Alveston, North West Tasmania. From Queensland, this is VK4WIA and the weekly Q News Amateur Radio News Service. The text edition is available by contacting Q News at wia.org.au. This is Alan, VK4 HIT, with news from Ipswich and District Radio Club. Club members are reminded the annual general meeting will be held Saturday, August 24, from 10am. To be eligible to vote at the AGM, members must be financial prior to the start of the meeting. Please check your emails for payment details in the July minutes. Current Secretary and Wyson Coordinator Greg VK4GJW indicated he will be stepping down from both roles after eight years. Nominations are open for all positions, with Greg also encouraging new eyes and new blood on the executive. From the Wyson Report, the Guzzler Ultra Marathon was held on July 20 and 21. Communications went well with the 50km and 100km events covered. This is the biggest event of the year with 731 runners. A total of 23 volunteers, that's operators, helpers and feet on the ground from other clubs made it happen and funds raised contribute to the running costs of the clubhouse. And commencing Tuesday night, September 3, will be another foundation course. There is room for four candidates, and so far one person has registered. So it's first in, best dressed. Register your interest with the club's training officer, Greg, VK4GJW. Reporting from Ipswich, this is Alan, VK4 Hotel India Tango. Across Queensland from VK4 WIA, you're tuned to Q News. Here in the Toowoomba area... Be sure to tune in to 146.750, the VK4 RDD repeater, at 9am on Sunday mornings and then again at 7pm on Sunday evenings. I'm Dave, VK4 DAK. Quick reminder, greetings from the Redcliffe and District Radio Club VK4RC. Robert Thompson, VK4 TFN here. The Redcliffe Club car boot sale is on Saturday 24th of August 2024 at 9am at our clubhouse in McFarland Park in Cligna Road, Kipper Ring in the city of Redcliffe. Go to www.redcliffradioclub.org.au for more information. Thank you and 73s from the Redcliffe and District Radio Club, VK4RC. Hello, I'm Jeff Emery, VK4ZPP, and I've been thinking. As the last hurrahs have died down and the athletes have made their way home, the next major calendar event is, of course, the Paralympics. It is significant that We celebrate this band of sports people because they exemplify what can happen if you deal with what is real and follow your dreams as to what is possible. Just as the Invictus Games provide meaning to military veterans in redefining their sense of self and gain confidence in achievements in a new facet of life, so other bodies with positive outlooks can give support. Perhaps I can take the ethos of these movements and apply it to our own pursuit of amateur radio. As life's events overtake us, we can find ourselves in circumstances that we never dreamed of in our younger years. Many of us will have explored the self-help industry in its various marketing forms, but I'm not equating a positive outlook with unrealistic expectations for people. Various studies of real-world situations have shown that a positive outlook is very beneficial to health and longevity. This is not some airy-fairy form of academic research, but the outcomes amongst people such as you and me. So if the outcomes for cancer patients can be better amongst people with a good outlook and military retirees suffering high levels of conditions such as PTSD, it seems we already have the evidence of how beneficial these informal supports can be. I remember how in the CB boom years, there were clubs formed that provided a community for people not only interested in citizens' band, but also came from similar backgrounds and life experience. There was much benefit amongst club members because people became engaged in activities outside their normal life. We do have a few organisations where amateur radio is a prime focus for members of certain professions, faith bodies and service organisations. If we look at the groups that have been succeeding over time, they all seem, to my eye, of an outlook which is driven by positive outcomes. In recent times, we've seen videos, web and social media posts hanging on gaining the maximum viewing by suggesting the death of amateur radio. 
This form of clickbait is also what causes the mental health professionals to warn of the bad effects that negative news and propaganda has on young people's outlook. Continuing diet of bad news has been shown to contribute to suicidal thoughts for people suffering stress and depression. So here we have an activity that links us around the world and encourages everyone to be part of the action in ways that suit their own circumstances. Here we have a structure that supports clubs where people can physically meet and share social activities. Here we have an opportunity to look in the mirror. And if we have a poor image, we have the chance to change and look at what we can do and disregard what we can't. I'm Jeff Emery, and that's what I think. How about you? From Queensland, this has been VK4WIA and the weekly Q News Amateur Radio News Service. We thank our rebroadcast team and you for listening. And remember, internet text of this news is available by dropping a note to Q News at wia.org.au.